Hey everybody, <laughs> welcome back. Hey, it's me, Nicole Rache Holiday. Thank you for tuning in and those that are new, welcome. And I hope that you subscribe and continue to watch my videos as well. So I um, have putting, been putting together some footage for you guys over the last few weeks, kind of recording my staple lunch and dinners that I've been eating for the last nine and a half years while eating a plant-based diet. Um, mind you, although I'm showing you a lot of cooked foods, I don't eat a lot of cooked foods like that anymore because I eat a high raw plant-based diet now. So most of my stuff, um, I would say 90% of my diet is raw. So I'm eating more the fruit and vegetables and salads and smoothies and stuff. And then very little cooked foods. So um, even though I'm showing you all these cooked foods, I don't eat this much cooked foods like I used to. Um, but I have been lately just so I could film this for you guys. <laughs> Um, and I, you know, I prefer to eat more raw. I just feel so much better. But anyway, I want to do it for you guys. Okay. I'm sacrificing. No, but these are my staple meals of what I've been eating the last nine and a half years. And I eat a 90% whole food plant-based diet. So 10% I would say is processed and junk food. And usually that's on the weekends. Um, and then I also eat a 95% gluten-free diet. So most of my diet is gluten-free, but then I do make exceptions sometimes. I just want me a vegan burger with bread or maybe a, a cookie or, you know, a piece of vegan cake or something like that. Um, but that's you know, 5% of my diet. Um, so all these foods I'm showing you are whole foods, meaning foods that are not processed, foods that are in its own form pretty much. Um, Except for the pasta that I'm going to show you. That's probably the only thing that's kind of processed in this video. But I'm going to show you guys what I've been eating the last nine and a half years. And I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you soon. And I just want to address the elephant in the room. Excuse my wrinkled shirt, but I do want to show you my sh cool shirt, Bob Marley. You know, got the accessories going on to bring out the green. So some of the things I like to eat for lunch or dinner are things like dragon fruit bowls or acai bowls from a juice place. I got this from Project Juice. I also like to make my own ice cream. The base is always frozen bananas and my favorite is frozen bananas with peanut butter and fruit on top. This is what that is. and then Or you could do frozen bananas with different types of fruit and add some honey or something to sweeten it or agave. I also like to have smoothie sometimes. Sometimes I just wanted to have a smoothie and this was just a straight banana smoothie. Frozen bananas with almond milk. It was like a milkshake. Delicious. You could do frozen bananas with different types of fruit. Uh, some type of plant-based milk, water or juice for the liquid. Um, I also like to have fruit sometimes. Um, just simple fruit. Anything that you desire. <laughs> um, I love to start my day off with fruit sometimes as well. Um, so yeah, that's one of my, these are my staples. Those are all raw. Or sometimes I like salads for lunch or dinner. I start off with some fruit and then go into my salad. This one has romaine, tomatoes, and carrots. My dressing I make with the tahini dressing from Trader Joe's and I just add water, apple cider vinegar, mix it till I get the consistency I want and then add some seasoning, spices, or whatever you want and it's really good. This is another type of salad. I mean, I eat all different types of salad. This one has kale in it with carrots and different color carrots. And it has this delicious um, dressing. It's a Trader Joe salad. Um, my husband loves to make this and I love to eat it. It's just bell peppers, um, onions, and cabbage sauteed in vegan butter over rice. Very simple. I love this. You can also do stir-fried vegetables and different types of vegetables. This is a pasta that I like to have. I don't have pasta all the time, but I do like this one. It's gluten-free, high in protein. It has 23 grams of protein in it. And it just has mushrooms, bell peppers, onions, and marinara sauce um, with the pasta and some seasonings. And it's gluten-free, high protein. So let me just say that one more time. Gluten-free, high protein if you want, if you're not, if you're worried about carbs. Um, this one is similar to that one, except for instead of pasta, it has rice. And then I also added beans, black beans and chickpeas and spinach, but everything else is the same, marinara and all that. This is, um, beans and rice are a staple of mine, you know, with a vegetable. You can add some bell peppers in there like, like I did with onions. This is a... Um, my favorite black eyed peas my husband makes. I know it looks kind of 
it's not very pretty, but it's very good. He put some liquid smoke in it. It tastes like I'm eating turkey necks. <laughs> and then I always like to add sriracha to my beans and rice. So that's what that red stuff is. But it's heck of good, you guys. So good. Mm. Mm -hmm. And then you can never go wrong. I eat a lot of potatoes. I have been for nine and a half years. And I just eat it with vegetables. Um... Sometimes I might eat it with tofu, like this plate here. I had some tofu. I only eat tofu probably like six times a year, but I made some smashed potatoes. I just boiled them, smashed them, added some almond milk and some vegan I butter. too soon. I think um, the other things that I process is that picture I showed you of my Indian dish. The beans I use are from Trader Joe's. They're in a can. They're organic. I do rinse them really good. So those are processed. And then like the marinara sauce is processed. Um, I think that's pretty much all that's processed in the video along with the pasta but everything else is pretty much whole foods all right so that's it you guys thank you guys for watching now i showed you guys what i eat a majority of the time at home but i didn't tell you or show you guys how i eat when i go out sometimes you know like i said i 10 percent of my diet i eat processed and junk foods and stuff so i might go to a restaurant and have a vegan burger with some french fries or I might go to a restaurant and have some pizza and just ask for veggies marinara sauce no cheese or I might have a burrito with beans and guacamole rice um, lettuce pico de gallo you know or I might go to a vegan restaurant and get vegan nachos and a beyond cheesesteak sandwich you know so th there's a lot of things that I can eat when I'm you know having my little I don't want to call them cheat days, but just, you know, when I just want to feel free and just kind of be a little bit bad. Um, so, and then I might even have some vegan ice cream and vegan cookies or, and Nutter Butters, Oreo cookies are vegan, by the way. But anyway, so these pictures I showed you in videos are just Whole Foods, how my diet is 90% of the time. The other 10% is when I'm going out and eating junk on the weekends and stuff. So... I hope you guys enjoyed this video and please don't forget to subscribe and like it and click the bell for notifications and I'll see you next time.